This podcast is part of the Shareable Podcast Network. Learn more at shareable.fm. This is a shareable mini episode where I ask the guest 10 important big questions, and they have to answer them as fast as they possibly can. I call it Think Fast. Welcome back to Shareable. This is Think Fast, and my name is Jeff Gibbard, and today I have Ian Bauer. Ian, welcome to Think Fast. Thanks for having me. So here's how this thing works, is that I'm going to ask you 10 rapid fire questions, and you have to think as fast as you can and answer as quickly as you can. Now, it doesn't mean you have to speak really quickly as you're answering. It doesn't even mean that your answer needs to be short. It just means that your first thought of the answer to this question, whatever those questions are going to be, you have to answer it as quickly as you can. You can take your time. You can explain your answer. You can just leave it at a one word answer if you want. It's up to you. But the key is to get your first level instinctual thinking on the answers to these questions. Got it. I think I could do that. Yeah, Yeah, cool. All right. What book should everyone read next? Uh, I'm a big fan of a book called um, Paid to Think, uh, which is a actual tomb. (laughs) Like it's a, it's a, again, it's encyclopedia for uh, thought leaders, business owners, entrepreneurs, but it basically introduces and reorients your concepts of thinking. So the whole idea is paid to think it's for people who are paid to think. I love it. I'm totally reading that. That's right up my alley. All right. Question two, what's your favorite podcast? And as much as you'd like to say it, you can't say shareable. Uh, So um, I'm going to cop out here. The smart passive income is the first one that came to mind. It's the one, it's the one I always pick up and download and put in when I'm getting on an airplane um, because it's, it's a variety show at this point, which it's always great to just pick something up there. A hundred percent. And you know what? I'm actually surprised that that answer doesn't come up more often. Uh, I have a question later on that um, is going to come up that I get almost the same answer 80% of the time, but I am surprised at how the favorite podcast answer has so rarely produced the same answer. Very rarely. I think smart passive income is a great answer to that question. Good job. Okay. Question three, what negative experience in your life are you most happy that it happened to you? Oh, I honestly, I don't have a whole lot of negative experiences in my life, but it's not because I don't have negative experiences. It's because I categorize them differently. The first thing that comes to mind though, I would say is when my job was threatened as a a college, um, a a chef at a university. And they basically told me, Hey, there's a really good chance you're going to get fired in the next 30 days because they were pulling the contract. And it was a thing that made me say, finally, like, okay, I'm done with this corporate world. I've got a business built on the side. I have a parachute there. And so I'm just going to go for it. And I did. Um, So it scared me into doing something that I had been basically putting off. That's great. Okay. What is a lesson that you wish that you had learned earlier in life? Um, Besides invest in Bitcoin? (laughs) Um, I would say... Uh, the value of um, getting other people to do things for you. And so like not trying to, to do everything, not trying to like micromanage everything or feeling like you're the only one that's able to do something and just get super comfortable by letting other people take over, uh, especially in business. Got it. Delegation. It's a very important one. Yes. That's okay. The word. What's the most important skill of the future? Uh, definitely, uh, technology, um, and, and really more so than technology is, but like adaptability, like being flexible, things move faster, the further along we go. Um, you know, when you look at things like social media, it was something I am not being very adaptable at right now, but if you just think about in the last 10 years, how it's advanced so far, I've never, I've never even like downloaded TikTok, And so, you know, like I'm not, I feel like I'm not being adaptable. And, and I think that the easier, that you can accept and adapt, accept change and adapt, the, um, the better you're going to be. If you want to talk about that offline after, let me know. I did that for a decade. Um, <laughs> okay. What industry or career path do you think has the most promising future or potential? I think that um, skill trades, I think that there's going to be a very, very strong pushback against traditional uh, four-year colleges. And I think that, um, I think that the 30 or 40 year trajectory of pushing people into four year colleges has created a um, kind of like a vacuum in skilled technical trades, actually. Uh, So I think that anything that where you're working with your hands and that you have a skill and that you don't need a four year degree to do is probably going to be a really awesome place to be over the next few years. Uh, Think of like welding and stuff like that. Dig it. I 
agree. My house is torn up right now. And if it weren't for all the people who were able to fix it, I would be in some pretty deep water. Um, what is one thing that everybody listening to this episode should go and do today? It's something they either have to start today or be able, uh, they either have to be able to finish it today, like start it and finish it today, or at the very least start it so that it, it can be finished in the near future. It's a thing they should do today. Uh, anything that, um, uh, progresses the goal of being more in shape or, or basically taking care of your body better, uh, anything, go for a walk, uh, decline to eat something sweet or whatever, but, but do something little that's going to immeasurably improve your health, uh, in the long run, because your health is really the only thing that you, you have, you've only got one body. Your health is, uh, is the most important thing. I dig it. Okay. What real life figure or fictional character do you identify with and why? Uh, Marshall from how I met your mother. And just because he's got this like goofball, but also like cool guy, but also kind of like, uh, you know, sweet romantic guy kind of thing. So personally, I've always looked at him and said, I want to be more like Marshall. Got it. If you could have any one superpower, what would it be? Uh, the uh, power to control minds. Part two of that question, what would you sacrifice to have that superpower? Um, What's the most you'd be willing to sacrifice to have that superpower? Um, I'm not sure. Could be, I, I mean, anything. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. pretty much if you can control minds, you could get all back. Right, exactly, yeah. Mm. Okay. You got to work on that follow-up. Okay. The final question. Final question is the big question. Uh, are you a Marvel fan at all? Do you superhero movie and such? Uh, yeah, fairly. Okay. Have you seen Endgame? I have, but the, all the Marvel movies run together for me. Okay, cool. Well, I'll just give you the quick premise then. Uh, the Infinity Gauntlet is this uh, glove that you can put the Infinity Stones in. When you put the Infinity Stones in, you have the power to basically shape time and space and reality to your whim. All you have to do is snap your fingers. You can do anything. Wipe out half the life in the universe, bring half the life in the universe back, completely change anything to whatever it is that you imagine. I have this Infinity Gauntlet, and I'm going to offer it to you. The first question is, if I offer it to you, do you put it on and snap? And if you do, what happens after you snap? Yes, I definitely snap. Um, and By the way, it, it costs you your life if you snap. I don't know if I mentioned that, but snapping costs you your life. You're not Thanos. You're Iron Man. You will perish if you snap. Anything can happen. But after you snap, no more you. Uh, this is a huge uh, value conflict for me because... Um, I have a very, very strong will to live. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Me and my wife actually have this conversation all the time. And there is basically nothing that I would sacrifice my life for, except for like my children. So I would probably snap. And then the, the thing that I would want is basically to ensure their health, wellness, safety into eternity. Wow. <laughs> so into eternity. Whatever, whatever it needs to be. It's a, it's a quick fire question. So I can't. <laughs> All right, articulate. cool. Is there, if it's eternity, I, I would also say, make sure that they have very strong, mo you know, emotional, mental resilience because <laughs> living for eternity would also be rough. There's gotta be an out clause. Yeah, I guess so. Um, <laughs> all right, cool. Well, in that case, this has been think fast. You've been Ian Bauer. I've been Jeff Gibbard. And this episode has been shareable. Wait, don't leave. If you've never listened to my fancy outro, do it just once for me, please. Okay, if you enjoy Shareable and you find it valuable, there's a few ways that you can support the show. One, you can share it on social media, which I strongly encourage. I mean, it's literally the name of the show, Shareable. Two, you can review it on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. And if you're an Overcast user, as many of my listeners are, make sure to click that star button on the episodes that you like. The third way that you could support the show is by blogging about it or discussing it on your own podcast or even by making a YouTube video where you talk about one of the episodes. And then the final way that you can support the show is by supporting it directly on Patreon. You can find the link in the show notes. Now, before I let you go, I want to tell you about one other thing. 
You see, Shareable is just one of many projects that I'm working on at any given time. I've got another podcast called Rogue. I do a live streaming show every week called The Heroic Council. I've got a blog where I release a blog post twice a week. And if you're looking to keep up with all sorts of different content that can help you grow and become a superhero in life, I want you to check out jeffgibber.me. That's where I list all of my current projects and projects that are coming up in the future, including my forthcoming book, The Lovable Leader. It would mean a lot to me if you could go and check out some of the other things I've worked on because I put just as much of my heart into those projects as I do into Shareable. Thank you so much for being a listener. Thank you for being a supporter. And I hope to see you here on the next episode of Shareable.